Hello guys, MTH Lover 11 here, and well, it's that time of year where I renew my MTH Railroaders Club uh, membership. He uh, surpassed. And then, well, well, came out early compared to last year. Last year it came out like June, July, something like that. But the new MTH Railroaders Club car is here, and that makes it now I have five. Five years in a row, none bought on eBay. Unlike some people, which is the only way they can get them. So, in honor of that, I came up with this like a week ago and didn't have the card to do it. And I finally had some free time to do this video. So, I got a running video of my... Smithsonian. Uh, on my Union Pacific Gen set, my Union Pacific side dump, top gondola, or bottom dump, or whatever, my New York Central boxcar, my railgun gondola with coils, my uh, CNO boxcar and my pill, the newest and the most different out of the club cars, the Pillsbury High Side Hopper, which matches the Milwaukee Road one I have. Well, as you can notice, 2000, what's this? 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All in your order. So, uh, let's get this uh, train moving. As you probably noticed, I have a new engine, too, from the uh, video I shot. The slow motion. Runs great. Probably saw it on a video. I don't know. Good to go. Yeah, it's so blurry.
Also, guys, I'm also treating this as a layout update. Now, of course, I uh, mentioned I had that engine, I do believe, in the last video. Well, the last layout update video. I, but here it is. Again, MTH-8 white nose, Santa Fe, Proto 2. Well, just got rid of my uh, MTH uh, Rail King starter set uh, steam engine plus car, so whatever. So then I bought this MTH Premier NS Heritage Conrail High Q boxcar. I was looking for the New York Central one. I could not find it. So I had to sell Conrail. Conrail, fine. I don't have a New York Central light. Or I don't have a Conrail car. So. so be it. Then I realized, well, self, I have the, the, uh, well, track to put in, oh, I saw a switch from, the scrapyard goes to the crane and I put it right here and then that way I can have my passenger train run and then eventually there will be a switch here that leads into the engine uh, house and then I have pl I made <laughs> No, uh, where's the remote? I made plans, or I, with the help of Matt Jackson, I was able to make plans for my yard. So, it's two foot, or three foot by eight feet, eight feet wide by three foot wide, with, I think, four tracks, but they're like 70 inches long or something like that, longest. So, that's great. I just ordered myself this weekend a MTH uh, Premier line. Uh, uh, fast mail, they call it. Well, fast mail, they put a whole, what, four box cars together on back in the AEM7. So. I bought myself one of those in phase four. So that should be very uh, nice when it comes in. That should be in uh, mid to oh, Wednesday, Thursday, I would think. It's only coming from model train stuff. So, MB Klein, whatever you call it. I still haven't figured out why the building's on or the thing's on, so that's for another day. I think I gotta go messing around with the AIU wires. But until next time, guys, talk to you later. That's all I have to say.